some stuffs, right? Suppose we have a function f of x equals to x square minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1, right? So let me first uh, draw the figure of this function. The function's figure will be a little bit about like this, right? Uh, suppose this is 1, this is 2, 1, 2, and this is the origin, right? Uh, let me draw the line with a different color here. Actually, here will be a gap, you know. Now, let's see here. Uh, how to uh, evaluate the functions, right? How to get the value of this function? Suppose if you put the value one in this function, what are you gonna do? Uh, what 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 will get, right? Simply one square that is one, one minus one that is uh, zero, right? In upside numerator you will be getting zero, and in denominator also one minus one will be getting zero. So zero minus zero divided by zero will be getting the infinity again, right? That's undetermined value. So what we are getting here, the function is uh, not. Uh, existing over here right when the x is equals to 1 when x is equals to 1 the function is not existing here we are not getting the value of x so as we were going going uh, towards this point uh, suppose I'm giving the name suppose the, this point a as we're approaching the value of this point we'll be closing here right we'll be going to closer to closer to this point and again as we'll be going closer and closer from the right side also right will be coming here right so to calculate the value uh, of this or the height of this point a simply uh, we take now the limit as limit when x tends to 1 right x square minus 1 x minus 1 of this function it will be exactly equals to this 2 how uh, you can simply uh, uh, do simple just by taking some uh, numbers from the left side and from the right side also just uh, let me the rough over here suppose uh, right this is x and this is f of x suppose and now I'm taking the different different uh, numbers over here uh, suppose first I'm taking uh, from right side uh, suppose I am taking here 0 0.9 now if I'll put 0 0.9 in this function I'll be getting 1.9 you can uh, just uh, pause this view and calculate in your calculator you'll be getting 1.9 right and again I'm going to put here 0 0.99 right if I'll put the value of x here 0 0.9 that means I'm going closer here right I'm going to be closer closer almost here so I'll be here almost when I'll put 0 0.99 I'll get the value here again 1.99 right I'm going more closer to this 2 right here exactly it's 2 so I'm going more closer to 2 not exactly here not exactly 1 I'm taking here right so I'm going more closer to this now I'm again taking 0 0.99999 suppose 4 5 times 9 right so again I'll be coming more closer to 2 99999 right that's 3 2 right 3 2 I'm going more closer to 9 right so as I was approaching to near value of this one from here near value of 1 uh, as I was taking near value of 1 more nearer I was coming to the 2 right so the same thing I'm doing now from the right side also right now from here also I'm doing the same thing suppose uh, I'm, I'm first doing here suppose now I'm taking suppose 1.1 so if I will take the value of 1.1 over here and if I will put in this function I will get here 2.1 right now I am coming from this side right 1.1 suppose I, it is here 1.1 now I am coming more closer here so initially I was here almost now I will be coming more closer since uh, now I am taking 1 point suppose 0 1 so if I will put the 1.01 in this function I will get the value of 2.01 right now I'm taking more closer value suppose 1.0001 so if I'll put 1.0001 over here then again I will get 2.001 again one there is one more zero right the three zero and then one right so as I was uh, taking the values from the right side 
and coming closer to 1, right, coming closer to 1, right, I was getting the value more closer to this 2, right, more closer to, the, to this 2, from the right side also and the same from the left side also. So, but when I was taking 1, there, uh, there we, we, we do not get any value, that's undefined value, right, that's undefined value for the 1, right, that undefined value. So, what we can say, now we are taking uh, actually the approaching value of this. So, we are calculating the approaching value of this. So, that's why we introduced a new chapter that's called limit over here. So, limit, taking the limit, uh, limit of this x square minus 1, a, a whole divided by x minus 1, when x approaches to 1 is equals to 2. It, this is the limiting value or approaching value of this function, right? So, we cannot calculate exactly the value of this function in this right in this graph so that's why we take the limiting value right uh, it is a good example over here also you can see in this figure as we're going closer and closer and closer 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 you can see here the value the functions value you can see here right right from see here number is uh, coming closer closer to 2 closer to 2 closer to 2 right closer to 2 more closer more closer more closer right 6 uh, 7 see it's more closer and when we get the value exactly 2, it's undefined, see, it's undefined, right, when exactly we are putting the 1, it, we are getting undefined value, exactly same when we are coming closer from the right side again, we are getting closer to 2, closer to 2, you can see the value of fx, right, f of x, we are coming more closer to 2, more closer to 2, more closer, closer, closer and closer, but when the exactly x is x, x equals to 1, we are getting the value undefined value, right? We are getting now undefined value. When x equals to 1, we are getting undefined value. The same thing, right? It's a, a very good, right? Actually, I'm getting this from the uh, a website's name that is called mathsisfun.com, right? You can check it out. This It's really uh, wonderful, right? So, I hope uh, you understand the uh, a little bit uh, background, a little bit concept of the limit, right? So, uh, let me do... a uh, some examples here to make you clear in this chapter. Uh, suppose this is my graph now, right? And it is a function. Suppose and it has a value over here, right? Suppose it is a function f of x. Now, so when we're coming, let me change the color a little more better. Okay, when we're coming closer and closer, closer to this point, right? as we're coming approaching this value from the left side also and we're approaching from the right side also right so what we can see the ending point both of this uh, in both side as we're coming from the left side and right side the ending point is the same right so what we can say here the limit uh, suppose this is this value is L and this is X so when X right uh, suppose yeah this x value is equals to here when x tends to a right in this graph suppose when x tends to a when we come closer to x right so f of x have the value equals to l right so when x tends to a the f of x the value of the f of x is almost equals to not exactly is almost equals to l it's approaching l approaching well right so when x approaches to a f of x also approaches to l so like this but since we are going from left side also and the right side also what we can say we have the two limits right so this is called the left hand limits right and we generally write like this limit when x tends to a and here generally we take a negative sign here right so limit f of x is equals to uh, not exactly equals uh, right so L so this is called the left hand limit right it's called left hand limit left hand limit now see here so a minus we get uh, we give the sign this is the symbol we generally write the left hand limit now uh, see here also in right side also uh, suppose this color now as I'm coming from the right side more closer to this point right so Again, what I can say, we have the right hand limit also, and we generally represent it like this limit x tends to a plus. We give here positive signs because all the values will be greater than a, and here minus that's why we are putting here minus because all the values are 
less than the a right so this is le a right hand limit now and f of x is now approaches to the value l right so this is called the right hand limit right hand limit and one limit uh, any limit only exists when the left hand limit and the right hand limit have the same value right if the right hand limit and the left hand limit, uh, limit have the same value then only that limit exists otherwise it do not exist okay uh, now let me do another example over here uh, suppose now it is a mm, okay here is a function f of x suppose right uh, let me do with the red color right you know here here, here you you're watching a jump over here right here is a jump you know if you come from the left side right you'll get a value uh, suppose this is a and this is l suppose l1 value you're getting right when you're coming from the left side so left hand limit what you can say left hand limit when x approaches to a minus f of x you are getting l1 value suppose right and now when you're coming from the right side right you are getting something another value right you're getting something another value suppose it is l2 so our right hand limit is when x approaches to a now plus f of x we are getting we are approaching to a value of l2 right so when you are coming from the right side our right hand limit is l2 and our left hand limit is l1 so since l1 is not equals to l2 we can say the limit in this graph does not exist right limit does not exist so what we can say now that to exist a limit the left hand limit and the right hand limit should must be equal have um, uh, it should be the same value right it should have the same value uh, now I think uh, you understand a little bit concept over here now here is a figure right uh, let's observe this figure one by one now see here at the minus two point right at the minus two point we have the right hand limit right but we do not have the left hand limit so in this case what we can say uh, sweet okay here we have the uh, right hand limit but we don't have the left hand limit so that's why again we can say limit does not exist so from this point what we get that to exist a limit we should have the left hand limit uh, uh, the point the limiting point should have uh, we, we, we should get the left hand limit also and the right hand limits also from the left side also and the from the right side also so if there is not the common point means the uh, the same ending point from the left side also and from the right side also then we can say there is no existence of the limit right now come here simply uh, just by watching we are here, uh, here you are watching here that from the left side also we are getting the same value and from the right side also we are getting the same so left hand limit is equals to the uh, right hand limit so here limit exists right and here also we are getting the left hand limit equals to the right hand limit that's why we can say here also the limit exists but here here is a jump you know again see here here is a jump here is a some value from the left hand suppose l1 and from the right side if you go it is l2 so since l1 and l2, l1 and l2 we are getting the two different limit from the left side and the right side so here again we can say limit uh, do not exist right doesn't exist uh, it's not writing okay doesn't exist limit doesn't exist here right so uh, I hope uh, uh, you got a little bit idea about the limit and in next videos we'll be doing some little bit problems about the limits and the continuity and then we'll be uh, doing lots of our about the derivatives and we'll be starting gradually we'll be starting the calculus portion right so it is also the calculus right so we'll meet in the next video with a uh, different uh, uh, with a different example of the limit okay bye bye we'll be meeting next week bye